Migrating to MailerLite from MailChimp? We're so happy to have you. Our native MailChimp integration makes it easy to transfer over your subscribers with their data into your new MailerLite account in just a few clicks. You can even match the MailChimp subscriber fields with fields in MailerLite so no information is lost and you can continue your email marketing efforts without serious interruptions or complicated manual work. Let me show you how to do it. Starting from your dashboard, go to the Subscribers tab and click on the Add Subscribers button. Here you'll see lots of options for importing subscribers and we want to choose the Import from MailChimp. Click Connect MailChimp Account and you'll be taken to the Login page for MailChimp. Enter your details and click Login. Now you'll need to authorize your new MailerLite account so we can access your subscribers data for the migration. Click the allow button. Once you've done this, you should be redirected back to MailerLite and be able to see all of your MailChimp lists. Using the checkboxes, select the lists of subscribers that you wish to migrate and then click import. Next, you have an option to choose groups to add these new subscribers to. You can select one group and have all of your new MailChimp subscribers here or choose multiple groups. Or you can also leave this part empty and subscribers will still be added to your main list without being segmented. In the match field section, you can match the information such as email address to a matching field in MailerLite. You can see that the email field has been matched automatically, so we can simply go through and match the rest. For example, full name in MailChimp is simply name in MailerLite, so we can match those fields right here in the belong to column. For any fields that are blank or those you do not want to transfer over, you can leave it with the option skip this column. If you notice that one of your fields in MailChimp does not compare with any of the fields already existing in MailerLite, you can create a new custom field right here at the bottom of the dropdown. Once you have matched all of your fields, scroll down to the automation section and here you have the option to allow these new subscribers to trigger active automations in your account if they meet the conditions for the workflows. Okay, now if you don't check this box, these new subscribers will not be added to any workflows in your account. So if you have active automations in MailerLite, you want to check this box. Once you're done, click Finish Import. You'll see the import progress right here, and once it's finished, you'll be able to see the number of new subscribers that were added to your account, as well as any existing subscribers that have been updated with new information from MailChimp, and any subscribers that were not added. If you see that some subscribers were not added, it most likely means that there was some type of error with those specific emails, and you can check any of those errors under the stats. And that's it. If you want to see this page again, you can find it anytime by going to the Subscribers tab and then going to History. Here you can even undo the import completely by clicking the arrow next to the View button and then clicking Undo. Otherwise, clicking View will take you back to the Import Details page. Thanks for watching! Make sure to click the bell button below so you don't miss any new tutorials. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and subscribe to our newsletter. The link is in the description section below. Have an awesome day or night, and I'll see you in the next video.